Nogaku is a highly refined form of Japanese theater. It is divided into two kinds, no drama and short kyogen plays. Normally, nogaku is presented as two no plays with one kyogen between them, or five no plays with two kyogen separating them. Nogaku is at least 800 years old, possibly much more. It came to Japan from Chinese Nuo opera by way of travelers from Korea. This play is known as Kantan. It begins when the protagonist, a Chinese youth named Rosei, seeks a direction for his life by traveling to visit a priest in the land of Chu. While traveling, he spends a night at an inn in a village called Kantang. While waiting for dinner, he takes a nap on a magical pillow given to the innkeeper by a Taoist priest. Suddenly, Rose is woken up by the innkeeper, who tells him an imperial messenger has arrived, and Rose has been chosen to become the new emperor of China. He rides in a litter to the royal palace and begins his reign. For 50 years, he reigns as Emperor of China. On the 50th anniversary, a feast is given to celebrate his reign. At the feast, a young nobleman dances in honor of Emperor Rose. Then, inspired by the dancing, Rose starts to dance as well. With increasing speed, the world begins to whirl around him. Suddenly, the innkeeper awakens him with a sharp rap on his door. He has been dreaming the whole time. The 50 years of his reign passed in only a few minutes of sleep. 
Kyogen, unlike No, is a brief comedic play. The story often derives from Chinese or Japanese folktales. Kyogen actors rarely wear masks unless representing an animal such as a fox or monkey or a god. In this kyogen, called Haratatezu, two villagers who have recently built a shrine near their homes are searching for a priest to look after the shrine. They meet a priest who has recently taken vows. He says his name is Haratatezu, or never angry. The villagers question the priest on Buddhist sutras and doctrine, but he knows very little so he starts inventing comedic answers. The two villagers eventually realize Haratatezu is lying and knows nothing. So they goad and heckle him until he gets angry. <laughs> thus revealing how poorly his name suits him. No drama includes a chorus and an orchestra. The musicians are known as Hayashi. And they play four instruments, the transverse flute, no kang, the hip drum, otsuzumi, the shoulder drum, kotsuzumi, and the stick drum, taiko. In no, all actors are men, even in female roles. Costumes are made of elaborate, period-correct silk. And in most no plays, at least one actor wears a mask. Scenes and props are minimal. Their presence is suggested by the dialogue and movements of the actors. Many no plays are still performed in Japan today. They are almost always medieval stories. They include many themes, from simple family histories to mythical heroes, to tales of gods, ghosts, and other supernatural creatures. No performance is strictly regimented and traditional. Every movement and voice intonation is carefully regulated to convey a certain emotion or meaning. Discipline and subtlety are the hallmarks of the no actor. There are five different schools of no acting still taught in Japan. This no play is being performed at the Kasuga Taisha Temple in Nara to celebrate the Onmatsuri holiday. The play is called Kagetsu and tells the story of a man whose seven-year-old son went missing. The man renounces the world and becomes a traveling monk. One day, he is told about a boy named Kagetsu who lives in a temple in Kyoto. The monk visits Kagetsu who sings and dances. The boy then narrowly escapes committing sin by almost shooting a bird with a bow and arrow. The monk realizes Kagetsu is his lost son, who had been abducted by a tengu, a mountain goblin. Kagetsu finally dances with the drum to celebrate his reunion with his father. This play recounts the story of shoujo, in it, a kind rice wine seller dreams he is visited often by a man who never seems to get drunk. 
he asks why and learns his customer is not a man but an orange-haired sea spirit named Shoujo. One night, the wine cellar goes down to the beach with a cask of wine as a gift for Shoujo. They drink and dance together, and Shoujo returns the kindness by enchanting the wine cellar's cask so that it always refills itself. When the man wakes up, he actually has the magical wine cask. The making of no masks is a highly refined and difficult art. Nakamura Mitsue of Kyoto has been making no masks for 30 years. She says, I studied art at Kyoto City University. After graduating, I became fascinated by no culture and studied how to make masks under a master. Originally, only men could make no masks. In the last 30 years, an increasing number of makers are women. The favorite wood is Japanese cypress, hinoki. The mask making process requires progressively carving down a block of wood to the general shape of the face. Great care must be taken with the details. Once wood is removed, it can never be added back. The surface is then smooth and details are added. The back must be carved out to keep the mask thin and light for the actor's comfort. Then the mask is covered with gohun, a mixture that provides a smooth surface for painting. Nakamura-san is carving a mask called kurohige, a kind of dragon god. The kurohige will eventually have gilded copper plates put over his eyes to make them gold, signifying his status as a supernatural being. Only animals, gods, demons, and ghosts have golden eyes. There are many characters used in no theater. This mask represents an elegant young woman, waka onna. This one represents a mother who has lost her child, so she's older and has a sad expression. It's called hukai. This mask represents a ghost returned from the dead, called yase onna, meaning thin woman. This is a female monster that lives in the mountains, called yamamba. Notice the golden eyes. This mask represents a divine boy, Jido, a symbol of eternal youth who has lived 700 years. This mask represents a supernatural fox, Kitsune, who has transformed into a man in order to play tricks on human beings. And this one represents a powerful demon, Kobeshimi, no carvers must be able to portray dozens of different characters skillfully. Bihaku Kitazawa is a rising star among no mask makers in Kyoto. He says, at 20 years old, I began carving no masks. I became fascinated by no gaku because a single mask can show multiple expressions from different angles.
I know of no other mask in the world with these properties. For example, this position is called terasu, looking straight ahead, happy. This is called kumorasu, by looking downward, she now looks sad. The same no mask can portray smiling and frowning, depending on the angle of the actor's head. using traditional minerals originally imported from China that Bihakusan hand mixes into the paints using ancient methods. The base layer is gohun, made from crushed seashells, and a fixative of sticks of glue made from animal hide called nikawa. The nikawa is melted, then combined in a mortar with the pigments to make the paint. Many colors are needed. The paint is applied using traditional animal hair brushes. The hardest part of painting is that it begins during the carving stage. I have to plan how the paint will look long beforehand and carve with a final painted appearance in mind. The most detailed painting is the hair, which must be painted with very fine and precise brushes to convey each hair properly. Uh, Bihakusan has a very special technique for shading and aging the mask using a grading screen. An aged look is popular among both mask collectors and no actors. Nogaku is still performed in many cities in Japan. Despite its antiquity, or perhaps because of it, Nogaku remains popular with Japanese audiences even today. <laughs>